Hey guys, so I want to talk a little bit about Multigo again, and also a little bit about I2P and how you can take advantage of it. So, with Multigo, we covered recently how to get started installing all the free transforms that didn't require an API key. You can always get the API key anytime you want. Uh, that process takes a little more time. You just have to fill out some forms and it's basic information for your API key sign up. So that's all up to you. You can do that in your own time. Make sure to check out my previous video on that. We do an example search on a large figure name in the media who happens to be doing 20 years in prison. Um, but to get back to Multigo, someone had posted on YouTube today asking, well, is this information private? Well, it is not private. Your searches are likely cataloged, analyzed, and reviewed at some level. There may even be AI reviewing it automatically, and most likely is, uh, for that data. But for the person who asked me, how you could do it privately, I'm going to give you a situation where you can actually use it completely privately. Well, what I would recommend is put Multigo on a machine like Prestium, which is an I2P based uh, operating system. It's an amnesic operating system, so it's basically like Tails is for Tor, but it's for I2P. That's one option. You could alternatively actually install it on Tails itself or Hunix even. And then when you do that, you can sign up for your free account with your email address that happens to have been always signed up with that same network or another proxy. And that way, there's no way to actually find out who is doing the searches. So if you're looking into uh, serious matters on the world stage and you want to find out information, but you don't want it directly linked to you and you're interested in open source intelligence, but you also want anonymity while doing those searches, well, I'm going to tell you a couple things today that will help you be anonymous on Multigo. So so remember this, sign up should always be anonymous because if your sign up isn't anonymous, well that log, that IP address is always going to be linked back to you. And if the email you're using was signed up without a proxy, well that potentially can link back to you. And then so we have an interface where we may have everything torified or through the I2P network. Now say you want to set up another machine, but you don't necessarily want to run something that is amnesic, you want something that you can use like your daily driver. But you still want to take advantage of the benefits of proxying your continued searches. Well, then you'll take a look at Multigo's proxy settings as well. Um, and of course, you're going to want to ensure everything runs through a Tor network. But there is an alternative. For individual searches, I'm just going to talk about the proxy settings today. Uh, but for best practices, go ahead and use something like Tails or Prestium or Hunix, whichever you prefer. Um, but if you're interested in setting proxy settings for individual searches, um, you can do that right in the options. And we'll do that by going here, and what you'll want to ensure, of course, is that you set this to Tor Browser. So when you do this, you'll hit Edit, then you'll select the location of Tor Browser or an I2P or other network-based setup that allows you to proxy it. And, of course, you can also use a VPN. All those things are options for you. But if you want to take advantage of I2P, that's another thing I like to talk about sometimes, uh, we will do it with manual proxy settings here and then you'll set it to 127.0.0.1 port 4444 and what that does is it allows you to take advantage of the I2P out proxy now of course what you're gonna first want to do is set it up on your I2P console so you want to ensure you have the out proxy if you're using I2P plus the stormy cloud proxy is built right in and if you take advantage of these things make a consideration of donating to Stormy Cloud because they are the free out proxy for the I2P network. So if you are doing searches, you want to stay private, you're actually going through Stormy Cloud most likely, and they are taking on all the risk for you. So when you do a search 
through the I2P out proxy, which means that you connect into the I2P network and it seamlessly allows you to look at other things like this, which I'm going to be covering soon, different types of attacks on private networks. Um, but then you also have the ability to go on the clear net like you see here. So I'm in the I2P browser based setup. You can check out the one I worked on, which is I2P desktop. It gives you a full I2P setup on your desktop. So you have that shortcut and you double click it. It starts the I2P router in the background. It even stops it for you in the background when you close the browser. So that's a, another option for you, but you can also check out something like IDK's private profiles for I2P. That's another option. Uh, but I wanted to create an all-in-one quick setup just to try and help some people who are having trouble setting up I2P. So when you do the search, it appears like Stormy Cloud. It doesn't appear like you uh, because you have a decentralized, more decentralized network that allows you to route everything through multiple decentralized nodes around the world that are run by volunteers from several different countries. Now another thing that is nice about I2P is you also have different versions like the I2PD which is nice and light for uh, single board computers and these are run by people all over the world. So what may be in one network of uh, we'll say information gathering intermixed with other non-sharing network so you actually have that advantage in that way in that you are diversifying the uh, backbones we'll say of the internet uh, so uh, we have this nice status okay looks like everything's working good and when you want to check and see the status of your actual um, you can even take a look at the status of your tunnels in the tunnel manager and you can see that the HTTP proxy is working fine and so then you'll know you can go ahead and add it into the uh, Multigo settings. So if you're interested on a case by case basis of just using a proxy you can indeed test that proxy connection and ensure that your I2P out proxy is working. So that's yet another option for using Multigo. Uh, but like I said, if you want to be anonymous on Multigo, the best practice is to actually use it on an anonymous operating system, something like Tails, Hunix, or even Prestium uh, for I2P users. Um, the Hunix and Tails is going to go through the Tor network. Now if you use it on something like Prestium, which I covered earlier this year, check out my video on that. Um, you'll be doing everything through the I2P out proxy. And so that's an anonymous way you can do open source intelligence, get a better view of the world, and do it in complete privacy. So I hope this was helpful to you. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to share it with others, people who are interested in open source intelligence, because uh, a lot of people are concerned that they will be linked to their searches. And, you know, that's what this is all about. The, the ability to selectively reveal ourselves to the world. And that is our greatest power. That is power. Privacy is power. Because our data in other hands is power over us. Make sure to support this over at the blog, bmc.link slash politictech. And uh, ensure you check out all the public posts and tutorials there. You don't have to sign up to read it. It's public, so you can check it out. It's organized by category, and it's easier to find things. So I will be back with a video real soon. I did want to knock this one out, though. Uh, I've had a lot of construction in my home this week, so it's been a little more difficult to find time to record, but I'm doing my best. Uh, uh, we have people using sledgehammers to knock down walls at the moment. So thankfully, I found a moment and I was able to record this. So I will be coming out with something soon for you guys. Make sure to share the video, like it, leave a comment. Do you have another question? Uh, is there something about Multigo you want to see? I think next we're going to take a look at uh, looking up things like phone numbers. Uh, so we'll be taking a look at that. So uh, make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, share the video, and I'll be back later with more on open source intelligence, privacy, and security.